it's very easy to do things you like and but you're not going anywhere with this you're repeating same pattern same system same everything but when you do things you're afraid of you things you don't know that's a big big possibility of real change I was an incredibly shy person. I could not talk publicly. If somebody's walking behind me, I have to stop. I, I was traumatized by any, anything to do with the, with the people watching me, or I have to, you know, even in, in school, you know, talk to the professor. It was incredibly introvert. And uh, when I did this performance, the moment I start, entire fear disappeared. And it was like transformation is not me anymore. It's not me, this little traumatized, afraid Marina. It was this completely other Marina came out, which was fearless and can do anything. And, and it was like, wow, that was the Marina I, I want to be. The idea of the cleaner is such a long, long um, history. It comes really from my childhood because my mother was obsessed with cleaning. She would clean bananas with detergent because they come from the far away and they can have the bacteria. And then um, she will always have this, um, this um, sentence that follow me all my life, bathroom is free. So that means I can go to the bathroom and wash myself again and again and again. So it was always this cleaning kind of obsession. But later on, I, I found that I have so much of my mother's syndromes. And I was really interested in uh, the way how I uh, organize my life. I have to be very, very kind of strict and clean. And I will never put any, any photographs or, of my own work or anybody else's work on the walls. It would be just white walls. Because I think that um, that you have enough chaos in your head and around environment have to be minimal so that you can actually project from inside outside your ideas. So the cleaning is there for a long time. You know, when you're a young artist, you're so afraid that it's not enough. So you just add adding things, adding more stuff, more. If you have to do performance, you add uh, sound, you add image, you add uh, uh, dance, you add, uh, I don't know, the, all this, you know, mumbo jumbo stuff. And you're still afraid, you know, that what's, what's going to happen. But actually performance is, is uh, all about energy and energy is invisible and it's a transmission. And when you uh, sitting or standing in the front of the audience, it's like a music, you know, music is the most immaterial form of art. So it's not in between, go straight to, you, to, you, to your soul. Same with performance. And when you really have that kind of key to, to turn that energy, that's it. There's nothing there, just you and the audience. And you don't need absolutely nothing. But it takes me 50 years of my life to get to this point of that I can do work from just being there.